Welcome back, my duelist friends. Casual duelist here. It is Monday, so let's start off the week and let's start it with another request. So, today's request is kind of funny, kind of sad at the same time. Um, you guys will have till Saturday to play this. Saturday, this deck is going to be illegal. Um, we are going to be playing the My Precious Queen build. Now, Again, I didn't initially play this because this was going to be like super overpowered, but then I saw that there was going to be a time limit to actually do it. So let's just get it out of the way. Let's play my version. Um, and then you guys can kind of goof off with it or argue why would you make this knowing that the ban list was going to be Saturday. I don't know. Um, but people wanted to see it. So yeah, we're going to do it. So the way that this works, uh, it's the start of the duel. Flip this over. So this is going to start face up. Uh, you can normal summon level 7 insect types for one less tribute, and that's just generic. It's effect, non-effect, it doesn't state, so it's either, uh, which is crazy in its own right. Uh, once per turn during the end phase, you can special summon an insect monster token, which is a 1 star, 100 by 100 uh, earth insect. And again, since it doesn't tell you attack or defense, you get to pick. Um, the token cannot be tributed except... For the tribute summon of insect monsters or for insect monster effects, uh, you can tribute one insect monster from your hand instead uh, when attacking with the insect queen monster or monsters that you control. So again, this card gets kind of gnarly. And again, if we had Cockroach Knight, like this would be even better. And so like you guys understand why Konami is telling us no, you get zero copies from Saturday on. So that said... Let's let's show you how I play this. Um, first off, I don't believe in being like subtle about it. I, I say go big. So first monster, three copies, chainsaw, chainsaw insect. Uh, 24 by zero, four star. Just go big or go home. This is gonna this is already monarch level strength. This thing can solo Jinzo. Uh, and if this card battles at the end of the damage step, the opponent gets to draw a card. That's fine, whatever. Um, I get it. It's fine. It is what it is. Next up, still no power cap for me. Let's go with three Jirai Gumos. Again, I, whenever it declares an attack, I get to toss a coin, call it, and if I get it wrong, I lose half my hit points. Here's the thing. Um, most of the time, if I'm going to go first, I'm going to summon one of these, and I'm going to get this, and I'm going to have a token at the same time, and in the next turn, I should be playing a big monster. So to me, it's not that big of a deal. And then what's the big monster you say? The Insect Queen, right? It's my precious queen. So you got to play the Insect Queen. She is a seven star. She's going to be a single tribute for you. And let's talk about the effects. So she gets 200 attack for every insect on the field. This includes her, the tokens, and our opponent's monsters. Uh, cannot declare an attack unless you tribute a monster. Again, we're allowed to tribute from the hand, so that's great. We can tribute uh, the tokens that we generate afterward, whatever we want. Uh, if this is destroyed by, or sorry, if this card destroyed an opponent's monster by battle this turn, then you also get to spawn another one of those insect monster tokens with the same stats. So at the beginning, you're saying that you get this token plus that token, and now I've got three monsters on my side of the field. That's going to be an additional 600 points. Well, that's making the insect queen already 2,800 points. So again, really cool card. Let's talk about the surprise tech. This is probably why konami is telling us no is because i want to play the brain crusher guys i don't know if you guys remember this from the first battle city box but brain crusher also a seven star starts at 24 so it's a couple points stronger once per turn during the end phase if it destroyed an opponent's monster by battle and sends it to the graveyard during the turn that you controlled it target one of the monsters destroyed in the graveyard and special summon it now they say that in case you gave this thing multiple attacks uh, cards like the Twin Swords of Flashing Light Trice could do that. However, that card is not in Speed Duel right now. So they just have to keep the card worded the same just in case they add it later. Uh, and I hope they do. I hope we get the Guardian cards. Guys, give us like the Waking Dragon season worth of cards. I, I want those Duel Riders. Um, but Brain Crusher is an excellent third as far as our big bugs go. And again, this is going to let us take over anything we want so again just kind of like let that mull around in your brain a little bit it's good uh moving over to the spells we're going to go with the standard two copies book of moon with the one cosmic cyclone for reasons uh it's one of my standard plays because it just keeps working the day it stops working so well or the ban list changes to stop me from doing this 
chances are I'll just stop doing this. Um, but for right now, this is good. Next, I'm going to telegraph one of my trap cards by showing you two copies of Insect Barrier. This means I am using the DNA surgery, which does mean that the Insect Queen gets additional power-ups. So it's 600 per side if we both have three monsters, um, which could be 1,200 points added, which could bring her up to 3,400. Um, so again, changing everything to Insects is good. We're going to go ahead and uh, stop our opponent from attacking. There are some cards that will just still be bigger than us. Um, and this is how we deal with it. Um, and then again, to complement the Cosmic Cyclone, one copy of Nightbeam. Um, still like to have two cards for against the back row. Moving into the traps, you guys already knew. Three DNA surgeries. Again, it's going to help out a lot. And then two copies of Lost Win in the main build. Um, because again, sometimes you're just going to see some big monsters come out. And I think like the only thing that truly trumps this deck right now is to see Obelisk the Tormentor show up. But he will be stalled out through the indirect effects because DNA Surgery and Barrier do not target. So they can still affect him, but they don't target him. So again, this is like the one way to like maybe stall this deck. Uh, real quick, this is 20 cards. 21 with your skill. Go ahead, screen cap or uh, take the photo, the uh, whatever it is, the uh, screenshots and or pause and make some notes and i'll be back with the extra and the side deck in just a moment all right and like usual i'm gonna start with the side deck because it just it honestly makes more sense if i start doing it that way um so what we're gonna start with is not what you think it is we're gonna start with the insect princess and i know i know what what why her well, because we're already running DNA surgery, like, let's have some fun, right? So, all insect monsters the opponent controls are changed to attack position. This is fine. Um, this stops them from hiding with small defensive cards. But additionally, every time we destroy an insect by battle, this card gains a permanent 500. Um, so, again, even though it's a six star, it's still only one tribute, just like all of our other big monsters through the skill. Um, we're still going to be able to gain tokens to help us uh, mitigate the cost and instead of having to tribute out our chainsaw insects or something. We can go ahead, we could trade out like both queens or a queen and the uh, brain crusher, whichever one you guys are feeling uh, less like playing. Uh, you swap those into these and then you can get a little more aggressive with the stack. Um, it's perfect. Uh, we are going to run a third copy of Lost Wind because again... She's going to be a little more vulnerable. She only starts at 19. Uh, we want to give her every advantage that we can. Mind Crush, again, if you guys are playing against an Obelisk deck, one Mind Crush probably isn't going to do you. Um, but competitive-wise, at a locals, this is probably going to be more than enough. And then two copies Waking the Dragon. Again, you could invert these. Uh, you could go with one Waking. You could go with two Mind Crush to make the Mind Crush more effective. Um, but the Waking is just so that we can go ahead and play our extra deck monster cards and punish them for going after the back row. Because again, remember, you, you've got like DNA surgery back there and stuff. They're going to be looking for those. They're going to be trying to destroy those, banish them. So Waking the Dragon is still going to let you play the big six. Um, and this is probably one of the reasons why my Precious Queen is going to be banned as of Saturday. Uh, at least in official events, you guys could still play this casually. You guys could still enjoy this around your home table, uh, whatever you guys like. Um, or if your locals decides that they don't want to play by the official official list, um, then, you know, anything goes. But uh, this is the deck. I hope that you guys enjoyed it. Um, like, comment, sub, help support the channel if you don't mind. If you do mind, I'm sorry. Uh, don't do any of it then. Um and uh, next time I'm here on Wednesday, we've got another request. It's going to be for a Baby Dragon beatdown. So we're going to play Baby Dragon and Friends. And uh, we're going to make a deck that's kind of fun at Locals playing this little guy. Um, should be a lot of fun. I've been enjoying playtesting it. And uh, we'll see about getting you guys that build next. All right, guys. Go enjoy the rest of your day. And uh, hopefully I get to see you guys next time. All right? Later.